birds that, you know, they're like moving so fast. You're like, oh my gosh, look at that hummingbird. And, you, and they like float around and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, how do you watch a hummingbird? You put out a hummingbird feeder and then you watch them come to your window and alight and then feed. This is from Ultimate Innovations. Our girl, Roxanne De Palma, who's been bringing us amazing outdoor garden ideas for 32 years here at QVC, brand new today. I'm thrilled that she's bringing us a way to bring wildlife into our home. So this is the pink, and as you can see, it's in the shape of a hibiscus. Here is the yellow. And then here is the purple. You just let us know which color or which colors you want. Maybe you want to get one for the front and one for the back, depending upon what kind of acreage you're talking about. Five easy payments of $7.90. Again, didn't I say it would be smart to shop with your Q card? Your Q card would make this six easy payments of $6 and change. I'm going to welcome in my friend, Roxanne De Palma. She always brings us great ideas. If you know the fireman's nozzle, great idea by Roxanne De Palma. Other decor pieces, great ideas. This one, we get to see hummingbirds. I know, I know. You know, Rachel, um, really quickly, the reason why hummingbird feeders started with the Pamas yeah. is because of this. Wow. Okay? Yeah. These plastic ones that you can never clean. My little mommy, who's up in heaven, would sit in this backyard and watch the hummingbirds all day long. And I was like, mm, Mr. P the Pama, we need to go to the drawing board. So that's yeah. how all my hummingbird uh, feeders came to... Um, to PVC. To so mm -hmm. this is a hibiscus flower. This is an anodized aluminum hook that's about 12 and a half inches long. If you notice in the middle here, there's a little hole. That's why we want to put the little water in there in case the ants come marching in, okay? okay right in here, yeah. Then you have 10 ports, 10 feeding ports. Now this is the yellow one and they're all hibiscus flowers. And if you notice around there where your finger is, yeah. Rachel, there's a resting port. And the reason for that is so that those little hummers can rest because they flap their wings 80 mm -hmm. times a second. Wow. It's over 4,000 times a minute. Wow. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to just lift this lid off and you're going to put your nectar inside. And I made the bottom part clear so that you can see how much nectar goes in there. And okay, so two things I want to make very clear to everybody. Don't ever, 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 ever use the red stuff. It harms the birds. Okay. So I include with every single bird feeder my recipe of one cup sugar, four cups water, stir, 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 put in the microwave, okay? The second thing is you never want a feeder that is metal because it'll actually burn the um, little feet on, on our little hummers, and we don't want to do this. This is made out of polycarbonate. What does that mean to you? It's going to last you for years. It's not going to last you a few weeks. It's not going to last you um, one season. It's going to last you for years. Now, I should have called this the multifunction feeder because you not only can use it for a hummingbird feeder, but, you know, when you're in Minnesota and those hummingbirds have all migrated south, you're going to fill this hibiscus flower up with bird seed. Oh, that's perfect. Hello. And I Roxanne, know. you Fabulous. actually have all three colors. Do you want to show all three colors there? Because again, I'm it's $7.90. First of all, it's pretty. But second of all, if you're somebody um, who sits at your window and you're doing all your Zoom meetings, wouldn't this be lovely to have right outside that window to watch and just to kind of change your gaze for a moment and reset? Or if you're somebody who cares for somebody who, you know, is confined to a bed and they have a window and that's where they look, hang it in front of their window. We always put, Roxanne, our bird feeders right in front of the kitchen window because that's where we were doing dishes hanging bird feeder there it is and so i know i asked you to do the colors but they're super easy to see here as well the yellow the pink as well as the purple and now roxanne the the hook itself is about 12 inches you're looking at you know 10.24 inches across here and right. again this is super sturdy this is weather resistant right roxanne yeah it it it's actually made out of polycarbonate so it will not crack it will not break and if we go down to the other sure. camera rachel i'm just going to show you something now, you know mama loves to feed all of her birds but mama's going to bring to you a very sturdy product yep this is made out of polycarbonate i'm not a tiny wow. woman darling okay and i do this to show you i'm not going to bring you just a normal feeder that's going to fall apart i bring you something that is going to last for years and years and years. Now listen, 
if you got in on my big deal, yeah, I'm gonna just bring this over. Look, you mix your feeders. I've got six feeders in my backyard. Oh, how sweet. And I have yes. two feeders in my front yard. But you see how you get the different dimensions? I love mix it. Mix them, guys. They love it. I love it. Um, I also think, imagine as a gift for somebody, right? Um, we're about to go into spring and summer. Imagine as a gift, you're bringing them the hummingbird feeder. You bring them some of Roxanne De Palma's potion. And this is really, you're bringing them <laughs> a living, right? And a moving and a changing experience every morning or every afternoon, whenever their hum hummingbirds come in. I was researching hummingbirds. Obviously, you know, they're acrobats. So they go forwards and backwards and upside down and sideways and the whole nine yards. They can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour. And by the way, you might want to get multiples because they are not social. They are territorial yeah. and not social. Let me say that again. <laughs> they don't migrate in a flock. They migrate like yeah. I'm over here in this bus. Roxanne, you be over there in that bus because I'm my own hummingbird and I'm not social. <laughs> no, you are absolutely correct. No. They are so territorial. Now, this is the other thing about hummingbirds. Once they come, they remember. Oh, and they'll come back year I after want them to year come back. after year after year. And, so, you know, you're right, Rachel. Don't get just one. Right. Get multiples. Get multiples. And people are doing that, Roxanne. We're at M79992. That's your item number. Multiples for window on the side of the house, window in the front of the house, window in the back of the house. Thank you so much, Roxanne. Happy President's oh, Day weekend. You. Nice to see Happy you. Happy President's Day weekend. Bye. Bye. So we love keeping the hummingbird feeder out.